So, but I mean that, that's like the same with cricket. I mean all the cricket players, international best players from all around the world, go to India because it's so huge in India, and they get a ton of money. Rugby league, on the other hand, has a cap, so players only allowed to. Uh, well, each club's only got a certain amount of money they're allowed to spend on salaries, and the reason for that is to make sure that no team um, that maybe is the most successful has the money to buy the best players, and therefore becomes pretty hard to defeat and they win all the time and that's the reason why they have that so they can only afford a few best good players and then it just evens out the competition which I think is a great idea actually uh, it should be implemented in most professional sports having a salary cap I think me um Oh no, maybe it's just me. So, yeah, anyway. Eddie Mill guaranteed for four years. I'd be happy with just 100k a year as a regular salary. <laughs> yeah, I know. But the thing is, I mean, you get millions over there, but that's just a country. But over here, I mean, still, they, get, they don't get that. I mean,. At all, they've got to get sponsorship deals, and that's what the teams do. They sort of organise sponsorship deals and extra jobs and stuff like that, like TV appearances to to give them extra money as a carrot to join the team. But um, at the end of the day, they're, they're still getting paid quite quite a lot of money, uh, a lot more than they would if they went off and well, most people do in a year anyway, you know, uh, for doing something that they love. And let's be honest, what would you rather do if, you, if you're a person that plays, uh, plays a sport and enjoys a sport, but you're not good enough to make a, a team where you can get a pay, and you've gone off and, and doing your, your job, what would you rather do, the job you're doing, or, or go off and get paid to do something in the sport? Everyone who likes playing sport enjoys it more than doing their job, generally. So you'd be quite happy to get the same amount of money for doing something you love than... Um, something you wouldn't so but yeah even though they don't get as much they still get a good amount of money they get free travel around the world the rugby and that the Cubs pay for it all I know why it's doing that because of that thing so much for thinking that I um, turned that off. That was an over revving. Oh, the IT IVT thing was on. It was taking off very, very slowly. So might have a look at the XML and see if I can't figure out how to stop it. Another look. And I could probably get rid of this course because it looks like I've stuck to the lines mostly. The um, Baylor's doing okay, I imagine. Even yeah, though I went a off a bit. Small piece. Well, there's only a couple. Of, blah. There's only the occasional small drag that it's missed, but nothing major. Yeah, well, that's true. I mean, you look at most of your baseball, uh, basketball players in America, Mike. I mean, if it wasn't for Michael Jordan, they wouldn't be paid as much as they get paid now. He was the one that paved the way, you know. And because uh, he, he put an international face on the game as well. Um, he was an absolute legend. In fact, my son's named after him. That's how much of a legend he was to me. Oh, I've just... Little premature. Damn it. Now I've got to bring that back in. Uh, what field are we on? Field 10, eh? Yep. So, and that's the same, you know? I mean, and back when Babe Ruth was playing 
baseball wasn't that as popular as it is now. Um, and that's just the way it is. I might as well just say course place no point stopping it and then redoing the uh, thing. Oh, yes, there is actually because I got more. Oh, wait, there's more. So, yeah, and one of the things that, uh, of course, Jordan brought, the reason why he ended up with being good money is because he, he brought bums on seats. He brought uh, eyes to the TV because uh, back then um, most of the games also weren't televised live at all. So he made a huge difference to the game. And yet you take the similar thing... Um, here yeah, we had a similar situation with rugby with a guy called Jonah Lamu who was um, pretty well known all around the world. Um, but when he played, not until his last few years, that rugby actually became a professional game and people were paid for it. Originally, rugby was played by amateurs. And it's actually the, the very reason why two games exist. One of them happens to be American football. And the other one is why Rugby League exists. American football came about because pretty much the same reason uh, Rugby League came about. Because in uh, America you guys played rugby. And then it was the Middle States that because we weren't getting paid, decided we want to get paid and all that, and rugby was a governed body around the world, they didn't allow that. It was had to be paid by amateurs, and it was a gentleman's game, all that kind of stuff. Um, you ended up doing that and readjusting the rules, and then finally in the West and the East it caught on. So the East Coast and the West Coast of America are actually the last two to join in the old American football, and look where that happened. And the same thing happened in England with uh, rugby, because... Uh, rugby was paid mainly by people who were quite rich and most of the rich people and lots of money in England were on sort of the south half of England and the north half of England ended up um, getting paid, I've done it again and um, because they were missing work and stuff when they couldn't afford to do that so they were being paid and they became professionals and the governing body for rugby didn't like that idea and banned them so the Northern England people ended up creating their own league because they were all, not only were they being paid for it, they were beating the amateurs, which they didn't like either. So, um, yeah, and they ended up changing the rules to make it a little bit more exciting for people to watch. And yet rugby union is still more popular. In fact, the one place that's more popular than rugby is in Australia, actually. Don't bother getting that little bit, nah. No. I'll send it home. What do you mean you can't reach the boot? What are you on about your line thing, so and so? Oh, that's because of that radio. Yeah, well, because he, he's he deserves it. He's he's a heck of a player as well. Stephen Curry. Actually, I watched an interview he did with Michael Jordan just yesterday or the day before. To be, he interviewed Michael Jordan. They sat down and had a chat, but it was nothing, not really about basketball because um, he's getting into playing golf. And because Michael Jordan's always been a big golf fan, and they were talking about that mainly.
And if you're interested in watching that interview, you can find that on... You better give me some money, you rich beggar. Stephen Curry's uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, as if he's watching this and give me any money for their free advertising. Got millions of subscribers as it is. Well, I think I'll take over and finish this. Um, I'll wait until he stops next and then take over the bailing. So they tried to buy in an ETS. A little bit further. There we go. Oh, I know what I could do. I'm going to try something. Actually, we're going up, well, I suppose we're not going up and down really, are we? Mm, oh yeah, just... apparently the co contract for tenants complete and I've still got eight bales left on. So uh, I'm going to pick up the rest and bring them home. Oh, nice. Absolutely nice. Make sure he's in line. I'll stop him again. And put that on. And get rid of that. Get rid of that. And yeah, look at that. That's thinking. Yeah, well, I suppose they'll only give you what you ask for, won't they? Uh, now that's all changed. Because the difference now is when it comes to the NBA is good players can ask for a trade and request trades and go to greener pastures. So they've got the um, more... Um, more of a worry for the team to lose a good player where they... Um, before they were locked in contracts, that wasn't part of the negotiation, the opportunity to be able to um, up and leave if they so choose to. They were locked in. Unless the um, team decided to do a trade or something. Go and camp for a change, though. This thing's going to need a bit of fuel soon. Go out of the way, birdies. Don't want to end up in my pie. My good old 4 and 20 pie. I'm suddenly thinking of chicken run. Chickens go in, pies come out. Ooh, I like pies. What kind? Apple. Oh, apple, my favourite. <laughs> That's chicken run, isn't it? The yeah. movie Chicken Run, yeah. Actually, I had a bit of a craving for a butter chicken pie yesterday. Problem is, can't afford it. Can't even afford a standard pie, they say. Well, not from the bakery, anyway.
Alright, we can finish this off and then uh, we can skip the night. I suppose I only have to worry about paying two of us now, set of three. Yeah, I, yeah. I do remember that because that used to actually be part of. Um, uh, I don't know if it's part of the uh, 2K basketball games, but it definitely was part of when the EA Sports used to do NBA games. They had the salary cap thing incorporated in it, so you know how much you could go for or what you were allowed and when the next rise was. You still there, Fetty? I imagine you, you went to bed because you said you were going to after you finished your, your diary. Oh, I'd seen them before, buddy. Yeah, I've seen those videos before. Yeah, so would I. I like those things. Bit of a history buff. Like to see how it used to work. We have, we have a thing, uh, well, we used to have it not around here, but uh, where I lived in Auckland, there's a place called uh, Motat, and um, which had... It's just basically a museum of old, old stuff. Funny now, it's got the old phones, the old <laughs> phones that, you know, not the push phone, touch push phone button ones, but the old ring phones, the ones that you used to go put your finger in the hole and turn the dial. And then it go da 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 all the way back. Uh, pulse dial phones. Yeah. Yeah, they're. <laughs> Where I used to live in Auckland, place for old things. Yeah, yeah, I got to become part of the um, the display. <clears throat> yeah, they used to a lot of good stuff. You used to be able to ride a tram because they had um, all the World War World War stuff at a different location. So you caught a tram and and you had this zoo right next door and a big park as well. So you could make a day of it, you could go to Motat in the morning and then jump the zoo pretty much right next door. In fact, they almost shared the same car park as well. And you could go off and walk around the zoo, which was a heck of a walk though. It was a few hours. And then you could go and uh, have, a, if you do it in the summertime, you can then go to the big parts up next to the pond, feed the ducks and have a nice lunch out in, out in the sun. Well, not lunch, dinner really, by the time. Then after that, jump in the car, jump straight onto the motorway because it was right next to it. Head on home. Hey, yeah, I like going that place. Been around for years, even when I was a kid. Still going strong. Things like that. Things I miss as a kid. We used to have a. Um, there's a department store here called Farmers, which used to be owned by the Farming Corporation. Co-op Farmers Co-op. 
um, but it's a department store where you get all your stuff and that. And um, they have stores everywhere. You go in and get your your, your beds and your, your uh, TVs and fridges and sofas and couches and chairs and dining room tables, all that kind of stuff, uh, clothing. From there, and they had a... Um, They're normally just a normal store, one-story store, but uh, in Auckland there was a, a big eight, big building, eight stories or whatever it was. Uh, it's big as Auckland gets anyway. Um, so each floor had different stuff, and right up the top was a big, huge playground for kids and also a cafeteria. So you could go and, as a kid, you can go there and play in the um, big area for the big playground up the top there and then uh, play on the slides ride around on the cars and all that kind of stuff and then go off next door and go and have your lunch and sit by the window and look out all across the harbour and uh, during Christmas time they used to book a big centre up there and the finger used to it was creepy used to like um, you know come come here type thing with you do with your finger you used to do that really slowly and then Santa would slowly wink <laughs> and it got taken down I was going to say, in this day and age, yeah well it wasn't an issue but then because people weren't so anal and read things into where there isn't anything to be read into it but no, what happened was uh, the building got sold and uh, it was actually bought by Whitcalls which is a stationary department and uh, they ended up putting it up, but um, the problem was is it was in the middle of the main street, which is Queen Street, and the farmer's one was not in the middle, it was actually um, pretty much as you come into the city from the North Shore. So you'd always drive past it as you come in into the city, which was the, the good thing. It, well, when you were a kid it was, anyway. As long as you lived on the North Shore, if you lived in South Auckland and you or well, West Auckland, you missed out on that. It was only only the, the North Aucklanders, people on the North Shore that had that privilege. I suppose compensating for the fact that we never had a train. <laughs> mm. No train line from the North Shore to the city. We never bothered. You got a ferry and a bridge, that's all you need. funny when you look back on your life as a kid and all the things that are around and then you look at it now and how much it's changed. And it'd be huge for us, you know? Um, I think. Well, maybe it's just the country I'm in because we were miles behind. We are pretty much the same. We didn't progress too much. Uh, we didn't have the, the people, the size or anything like that. So we never had the need, and because we're at the bottom of the world, obviously, until um, plane trips and all that become a regular type of thing, we weren't influenced too much. Um, so, but uh, yeah, progress, notice it a lot more now. But I think we will do everywhere because. Um, technology and advancements uh, we're just moving so much faster than we did 50 years ago in any country I think because now we're you know invention and, and research and all that is now international you know it's not a country that finds it and keeps it to themselves it's all shared and everything else like that there's more people researching as well than there ever was So apart from uh, arguments over language ideals, uh, human race is slowly but surely becoming a homogenous collective. Yep. 
Whether it's a good thing or a bad thing for humanity. Actually, it's a good thing if money's not the key motivator. To be honest. We've all experienced the um, money being the main motivator of things that um, end up being detrimental to the human race or people later on. Or even just simple greed. And it breeds corruption, as simple as that. Uh, the, the true fact is, you might disagree, but it is, it's just a fact. Money is a god on its own. Because people rearrange their lives for it. And if you rearrange your life for something, you lose your freedom. And something's in control of you, then it's a god. Well, it's godlike. It's like worshipping anything and you worship money if you. If it dictates the way you think and dictates the way you live and make decisions, you lose your freedom. You lose your freedom, then uh, you've been controlled. Money controls you. I'd like to fly to America today. I can't. Why? Because money tells me I can't. Because <laughs> I don't have it. So as, as free as you think you are, we're not. <laughs> and even when you got lots of money, you're still not free because um, you worry about it all the time. You never have enough. Nice, nice. Definitely feeling the ball and chain personally. So between just living expenses and being able to get to and from work, uh, I think it's polite to say that I don't feel suitably recompensated for my efforts. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, it's... um. It's a necessary evil, unfortunately. So you got to take the pros and cons with it because it's not a perfect system. And it's that simple. We just have to have to wait until um, we have World War Three, and then um, Zephyrin Cochrane and invents the warp drive, and then eventually we'll get to uh, replicators and don't have to pay for anything, and it's all good. All your trickies will get that one, won't you? Well, of course, my anti joke response is that would be, um, yeah, lightsabers are cool. You say, ah, uh, you can protect your family in the dark. No torch needed. There's two functions. It slices, it dices, it's handy. Just ask Luke Skywalker, he can tell you how handy it is. He gives it one thumbs up. Meanwhile, Anakin can uh, attest to its medical uh, applications. Instant wound cauterization after reading a quadriplegic amputee. It suited him. Put a bomb. <laughs> And then there's what, Obi-Wan Kenobi got himself out of a sticky situation when he didn't have the key, so uh, lightsaber to the rescue. 
What was that Qui Gon Jin? Nah, I'm just set up on the movies. I don't remember Obi Wan. Oh, hang on. It depends, doesn't it? Because I keep forgetting the old. Uh, what's his name? Is Obi Wan and the Phantom Menace and stuff. The first three episodes. McGregor. The first three, last three episodes. Yeah, is it Ewan McGregor or something, wasn't it? Yeah, Ewan McGregor. Interesting, though. I have to say. The end of the, um, the third movie, and I'm talking about in order, not when they're released, but the uh, episode order. Uh, Phantom Menace was the third one, wasn't it? Was it? No, hang on, that was the fourth one. That was after A New Hope. No New Hope is the first one. Oh my goodness. Why couldn't he release them in order? Um, I thought episode one was Phantom Menace. The episode one was Phantom Menace, yeah. But it was the fourth one released, of course. I'm trying to think of the third one at the end of it, um, when he becomes Darth Vader. Oh, uh, that would be New Hope, was it? No, I can't remember. Anyway, because Obi-Wan was there for when um, she gave birth to Leia and, and um, Luke's and uh but yet in empire strikes back after old luke goes visits yoda in the um swamp he takes off and then there's old obi-wan as a ghost and uh obi-wan says there's a last hope and then old uh yoda go no there's another and he seems surprised but you would think since he was there for, to the birth for both of them he would have known that so i think a little bit of a continuity issues in the books there luke uh luke george george is <laughs> not george lucas <laughs> that's funny because i always thought um was it padme amidala i thought she uh had her pregnancy slash birth in secret to avoid the uh sith well, Sith and the Empire. Yeah, but I mean, the, he must have known because the whole reason Obi Wan Kenobi was on Tatooine uh, was to keep an eye on Luke anyway. That's why he was pretending not to know him and all that kind of stuff. But, um. Oh. So they had to tie that reason in. But it was just the, the surprised look on Obi Wan's face when Yoda said, no, there's another sister, or whatever it was. So, and then again, but doesn't he took it over and ruined it all? George Lucas kept it; he would have stuck to the books. Because in the books, Princess Leia and uh, Han Solo's kids at the Force. Yeah, the Force Awakened. Um, uh, Kyle Aaron. Yeah, Mr. Emo likes to bash his own shoulder when he gets slightly slashed. Uh, I mean, worshipped his, worshipped his granddaddy a little too hard. Yeah, I mean, there was only the son, obviously, in, in the movies at the end of the, the Force. He was the new Darth the Vader. But they in the books they they had a um a son and a daughter, if I remember rightly. Gone in a bit of a ghost so the last few streams with the time on this. We've spent two streams on this day and two streams on it. Well, we're streaming a half on another day now. We've literally in the last two weeks only moved two days.